and Terry Green TV here. So here's been a very, very interesting week for us here um, on this, uh, my channel, my vlogs, um, doing some uncharacteristic stuff, not proud of, um, calling people out, um, you know, cussing. These are things that I don't want to do. Um, as I said, I want to be very positive, very upbeat. Well, last night we were going to do an exploration video. We got some train tracks um, that date back. Um, the town has been incorporated here since 1797. The train tracks um, date back to that time frame. Um, they used to transport soldiers during the Civil War. Teddy Roosevelt was on these train tracks. We were going to do a ghost app hunt last night. My wife came down um, sick, and I have a three-year-old and seven-month-old, so we weren't able to do that. But something I kind of want to draw everybody's attention is what I've seen on Joe Rogan's clips um, with Alex Jones. Now, I'm not a big conspiracy theorist. I'm not a big Alex Jones type person, um, but very interesting. So I don't get very political on here. Try not to stay away from that. But let's talk about um, let's talk about late term abortions and what. Um, the Virginia governor who was involved in the blackface scandal had talked about is that even after birth they would keep babies alive keep them comfortable to the mom made a decision if she wants to terminate it or not so here's what confuses me now Alex Jones's claim is that they're using these babies that are supposedly being terminated especially targeting poor women um, telling them that their babies have died when they actually haven't, keep them alive long enough to send them away and harvest their organs for over half a million dollars. I don't have enough information to confirm that, but go check it out. Joe Rogan um, podcast, um, Joe Rogan clips with Alex Jones. Very, very interesting. Check that out. Um, it was mind-blowing to me. But here's my issue. We can't kill grandmom, grandpa, who's 95, suffering want to put them, they beg in the die, they want to be put out of misery, we can't kill them, but we're proposing legislation now in various states that a baby, now remind you, when I first heard about it, it was if the mother was in danger or the baby was going to die within minutes or hours after birth, then you could terminate, but now it seems like they're going to keep these babies alive, they're going to let the doctors and the mothers make these decisions, and this is not a, I'm a guy, I'm not, women have a right to do what they want with their body. Two things about it, and I love for y'all to comment and answer this. A, when the baby is born, the father is then recognized as the father. What kind of say would he have in this? And two, okay, two would be if we can't kill older adults that want to die with euthanasia, then how is this legal legislated to kill young babies that are viable, that are born? So there are my two questions. I, you know, I love open forum. I love for you guys to comment, maybe give you your insight. Maybe there's people who did more research on this than me, but I would really like to bring some light to this. So if you could hit me up, Terry Green TV, check it out, comment, like, subscribe. We, if you guys like stuff like this, we'll do some more research, do some more stuff in it. We'll actually pull some more Alex Jones up if you want and look at different things that he's done um, and comment on that. So if you guys like it, hit the link, comment below, Terry Green TV. Good morning, everybody. We're out.